As much of the country was baking in intense heat, President Biden held an event to highlight the dangers of extreme heat. Paul Spay checks one of his claims for PolitiFact. Just how deadly are high temperatures in the U.S.? We'll take a look at what President Biden said the other day during a press conference at the White House. The number one weather-related killer is heat. The number one weather-related killer is heat. 600 people die annually from its effects, more than from floods, hurricanes, tor and tornadoes in America combined. You've probably already heard our meteorologists say heat is the number one weather-related killer in the U.S., and that's true. This time, you heard Biden say it kills more people than floods, hurricanes, and tornadoes combined. Now, if we look at the National Weather Service website, the annual average number of heat deaths is about 153 deaths per year over the last 10 years. And that doesn't quite top the combined averages of tornadoes and floods and hurricanes, as you can see here. But if we look at the CDC's website, it says extreme heat kills more than 600 people per year. That is definitely more than those other three categories combined. Now, why do these websites have such different figures? Experts say it's because heat deaths are historically underreported. Heart attacks, strokes, and other types of deaths go up in extreme heat, but then heat often goes unreported on those death certificates. And independent studies like this one published last year found annual heat deaths to be much higher than the National Weather Service reports. And that's why we rate Biden's claim mostly true. For the latest on the weather and Biden's claim, check out WREL.com.